seen the movie Jaws, right? <laughs> 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 well, it goes like this. Then as that big old shark gets a little closer and closer. Well, it's, this is the same way it is with the Holy Ghost. You come into the church and then... <laughs> and then the spirit starts moving and it's... <laughs>
Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. 
And there was no reason why I was sleeping in my possession. And even when I ran from God, he did promote to me. Amen. Come on now. Amen, Jesus. I thank you. And I thank all y'all so much for y'all's prayers. But I know they kept me alive while I've been away. Amen. And I thank y'all and I love y'all so much. We love you too. I want to thank God for loving me in the midst of the storm and for even though things aren't going the way I want them to, that everybody that I love is safe and in his care. And for helping me get here because I've been having some not so great thoughts and he's been giving me the strength to come here and start acting on it. Ceases to amaze me. You know, reflecting off of the teaching this morning, I'm sure that somewhere, somebody, in the current situation that you was in two weeks ago, somebody was praising God for it. Because it was helping get you where you needed to be. And you experienced a sudden that bomb came through and you was able to get close to get out of there. You couldn't see it coming, but it came because somebody somewhere was praising yeah. God. Hey, hey, come on. on.
what kind of mistake you made and never left you. Amen. Amen. My God, my God. Amen. Amen. I want to stand and say, I love the Lord. Like, yeah, wasn't old. long ago, I got clean and uh, got in church and I relaxed. And I ended up in jail, Tyler. I feel you. I got football <laughs> tackled by a big old cop. And, uh, Come on. I'm so tired. I wanted to die. Like, I really didn't want to live anymore. You know, I was laying in the bathroom floor begging for my life, you know, that God hated it. But I didn't want to die an addict because it really sucks, you know. And, embarrassing to my family. <laughs> I like to say I thank the Lord because today I got uh, 10 months, 10 days off the drugs. Hallelujah! Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm four months clean off of cigarettes, too. Hallelujah! Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He's a life changer. Hallelujah. Amen. He's a way maker. We're a blessed people. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord, I ain't running unless he makes me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey, I want to praise the Lord. You know, it, it's just, it, it tickles me to death to know. Boy, I can call on him from the dope house. Amen. Come on, sis. I can call on him from a jail cell. Come on. And he'll yeah. always hear me if I cry out to him from You know, I've never run so far. That the Lord can hear my cries Amen. and come and rescue me. And I praise Amen. his name tonight. It's a special thing tonight to know that you're loved Amen. by the Lord. God Almighty, who spoke the heavens and the earth Amen. into existence. Amen. Hallelujah. He listens to me Amen. when I cry out to him. You know, that, you can't buy that with money. Tonight. That's right. I just praise the Lord because. You know, it don't matter what we have to go through in this earth. Jesus is my friend. He said, you are my friend if you do whatsoever I command. Do I walk perfect? No. But do I try to serve the Lord with the best of my heart? Yes, ma'am, I do. And I love Jesus and he loves me. And I'm just thankful that he does. I tried this life without him, TJ. Yeah. It didn't get me nowhere. Amen. Nowhere did I want to brag about going. Amen. You know, uh, God's just brought me out and changed my life totally. Amen. I don't care if it's been seven days, seven months, or seven years. Amen. It's always brand new. Amen. Every day when I wake up, I'm just tickled to death and glad that I don't have to have dope to be happy. You know, that I don't have to stick a needle in my heart. You know, to find a little bit of joy in a day that I don't want to die if I don't get a hold of my dope, man. I just thank God for that, you know. I will praise Him until the day I leave us out of here for what He's done for me. Thank you, Jesus. He's a good father to see. Amen. He just loves us. He said, I loved you with an everlasting love. I don't even know what that means. But praise God, I love the way it sounds. And I love the way it feels. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You know, it's a privilege to be here tonight, and I'm glad I'm saved. Yeah, I'm standing here tonight, saved, delivered. Come on, Please, Amen. 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 Amen.
Bible tells me that if you open, you overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony. So if you got the blood of the Lamb tonight, come on, There's not a thing before you. Can you hold your hand, Lord, to God? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.
Come on. Yeah. 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 This old needle jerk, he, he said nothing more turned into something and made me work. I'll tell you what, there's nothing in this world like being in addiction. I tell you what, I love my man. I showed it up every day. I wouldn't get out of bed if I didn't have it. But I'm going to tell you what, I wake up every day. Thank you. 
We toil and toil with stuff too much on our yes, own. Yes, we do. Amen. Amen. Come on, Wade. Amen. We, we, and it's an oppression that we allow to come into our lives. When the disciples were in the boat and the waves got high and it got ugly out on the sea, and Jesus was right there asleep. He was with them the whole time, just Come as he's Come with on, us Lee. the whole time. He's right by our side the whole time. But when things come against us, we let it bind us and oppress us and it put us down under, and it's not supposed to be yes. that way. Amen. It's our job to know that the Savior is with us at all times. Yes. Amen. Come on. And there's not a thing that can come against us He can't deliver us from. Amen. Don't matter how big the storm. <laughs> yes. Don't matter how big the storm. He's got it all in control. Amen. 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 We serve a God that can do anything. Amen. Amen. Look what he had done for you, Shane. Yes. Amen. Look what he done for all of us. Amen. Amen. Look how many drug addicts is here. How many people are hurt? <laughs> Come on now. Amen. Oh, I mean, I'm hurt from the bed. I ain't no hurt to that woman. My dad and mom was alcoholic, and they said the same thing about them. My dad was a victim before he died and went on to heaven. And I told Babe, I said, Babe, honey, the Lord's going to get a hold of you. Amen. Get a hold of you. Amen. My mom, my dad, you just trust in God and he'll do it. Amen. Just look. Raise the dead. Amen. Amen. What can you do? That's right. Amen. 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 something that he can take into his hands and mold into what you're supposed to be. Yes, but not what you want to be. Amen. 
being willing to accept the gift that he's willing to give you. Amen. 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 Lord, I praise you. Right. You want to know what's even more fascinating about the statement that she made about Dad saying what he said? Just think about it. This just ain't him himself. Right. That's right. But Jesus is spreading word around here that he's going to open up a brush fire. Yeah. 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 Yes, 
drop of a hand Yeah, I'm gonna turn his back and move on I'm out of a spin like a blue wing Thinking that we're just too far gone But I want to know that there's still a hope for you now Honest. 
If you never want to have to struggle with your drugs again, praise God, it's here right now. All you got to do is accept it. Is that to say that you'll never have another bad day? I wish I could tell you it was so, my son. I wish I could. Make it not strange. But Anthony just said it. Even the bad days. Yeah, it's like, man, Come on. on. He did not. They ain't really bad. That's right. Yeah. They really ain't bad days with Jesus. Yeah, no. <laughs> I dropped my last contact in the bathroom seat this morning. I said, well, glory to God. Right there in my bathroom. That little circle in my bathroom. <laughs> he gives us joy. Amen. 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 The thing is, God gives us directions in the Bible. Amen. Basic instructions before leaving earth. That's what mm. this is. Come on. I've heard people say it, mm. that I wish life came with a God. Come on. It does, baby girl. <laughs> right here. Right here. Good old King James Version. Amen. This is everything I'd ever want to know about the Lord. I believe Lee said it this morning. If you want to hug Jesus, <laughs> right here, pick your Bible. Because you know what the Word says. He is the Word. Amen. He is Come the on. Word that's written in this Bible. Come on. He is the Word that women and men of God speak. Amen. He's even in your words. Amen. No, no. Amen. Because the Bible says that the power of death and life. Yes, amen. Who's got who's got the keys to death and hell? And who is life? Come on! Yeah. Who? What's his name? Jesus. What? Y'all ain't paying attention. What? Jesus. He's even in the words that you speak. Amen. He's everywhere. Amen. You know, when I was on that mess, I used to think that them little geek monsters everywhere. And they were us. Little shadow people, demons. Come on. They ain't bigger than Jesus. Amen. They used to torment me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to have to sit there and watch like a movie. It's the best way to describe it. Amen. Come on. Like if you would pull that screen down. Right there. And a lot of things. Come on, sis. Play on that screen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it still tries to. Come on. And I used to get real angry with God. But you know what the fact of the matter is? God didn't do that to me. I did that to me. Amen. Yes. Come on, sis. Amen. If we can learn to forgive ourselves. As easily as God forgives us. Amen. My God, it's the peace that we can have. The peace that we can have. Everybody didn't do drugs. But we've all done things to harm ourselves. Amen. Things to hurt ourselves. Things to stop us from making progress in this walk that we call life. But you know what I got good news tonight? As long as you got breath, you can stop. Amen. You can stop. And you can start walking in the other direction. I don't care where it is that you're walking. I don't care who it is you're with. I don't care where you came from. Jesus can change it. He can turn it over. He can change your heart's desires. Listen. If it wasn't for Jesus, I'd still be sticking needles in my arm. Yes, right. yes, I was on the road, Jess. 20 some years, I had a good time. I did. I, but everybody look at me like that. The Bible says there's fun in sin for a season. Yeah, right. Don't it? Yeah, yeah. Come on. I read it. Tell me you ain't had fun. Amen. Come on. But you know where it always leads? You see, Satan won't show you the end of the field. He never does. He doesn't show you 
all your friends dying from drug overdoses, diseases, hell for eternity. I could go on and on. He just shows you the good time. That's it. You know? The Bible says that Satan is a liar and the father of lies. He was a murderer from the beginning. And I'll never be anything other than a murderer. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's what he is. So how? How do you climb out? How do you find your way out of that addiction? Come on. How do you get out of that obsession that you just can't control? That's holding you back from walking with the Lord and being what you desire to be in him. How? Jesus said he came to set the captives Amen. free. Amen. Now, <laughs> I know a little bit about being free, Kim. Because you see, I was locked up for 18 months and I look out the window and I see the grass and I forgot what it felt like between my toes. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Some of y'all have been so oppressed by the devil, not just drugs, depression, oppression, thoughts of not being wanted, thoughts of suicide, thoughts of quitting church, thoughts of God can't forgive your sin. Any kind of lie that the devil can make up. Sometimes you just look out the window in your life and you forget what the grass is like between your toes. Yeah, come on. Jesus paid an awful mighty high price so that you can be free. You see, I read in the Bible where it says casting your cares upon him. Why? Because he cares for you. He cares for you. What it is tonight that you're going through, that battle in your mind that keeps playing over and over and over again, all you got to do is press the stop button on that thing. That's all you got to do. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you right here. I want to get it right, so I'm going to read you this scripture. Come on. <laughs> the preacher that been here tonight. Amen. But I'm just going to share this with you right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I got it in here somewhere. Not be on this. Thank you, Jesus. Here we go. Philippians 4 and 8. This is what I want y'all to hear tonight. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, Whatsoever things are lovely. Whatsoever things are of good report. If there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. We have to train our minds. It's like it's not like running a sprint. I'm going to share this with you. God showed me this one time. And y'all will not came from God because I don't want to think about running. <laughs> Let's not be running from the police in the past or running in the Holy Ghost in the present. Uh, that's all I know about running. <laughs> I'm honest. Bless her, bless her, bless her. <laughs> in a sprint, you give it all you got. You run fast and you run hard. And you make it down to the finish line. And usually, in a sprint, it ain't even that far of a run. 
But you see, our walks with the Lord, it's like a marathon. Mm -hmm. You see, Paul wrote about running this race. Yes. Yeah. But it's not a sprint. Right. It's a marathon. And you see, if you're going to run in a marathon, you don't just get up one morning, Lee, and say, I believe I'm going to go run in a marathon today. I, my sister just ran a marathon. She's lost all kinds of weight, and she's been training for a while. She would get up and run in place. I, I just don't see the sense of all that running unless it's somebody chasing after you real big, myself. But she got up every morning, and she would do her little exercises and stretch her little legs. And, you know, she, she's getting ready to do all these exercises. Because she got to get her muscles built up to the point that she be able to withstand a very long marathon. Now you see, that's what our walks with the Lord is. We got to stay prayed up. We got to stay fasted up. We got to read the Word of God. Feed that into our spirit. Not just once a week. Every single day. You mean, what happened to y'all if you don't eat? If you go one day without eating, <laughs> what happened? I get hangry, boy. I, tell you, I do. You seen that commercial where they just need a sneakers pie? <laughs> That's me. I get hangry, don't I, baby? See, so you don't even know why well, I'm hungry now. <laughs> I do, I get angry when I'm hungry. I do, and I get hateful. I get angry, I get angry. You might start carrying a Snickers bar in your pocket if you're going to run around with me. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Take that to the Spirit. If you don't read, Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Amen. If you don't be feeding your spirit man something every day. Right. Listen, let me take it a little step further. Do you eat food once a day? Uh-uh. No, you don't. You eat food three, four, five, six, sometimes. Boy, I'll be having dessert. If we have dinners at the church, I eat hot dogs all day long of the day. We eat a lot, don't we? Now, let's take that spiritual. How many times you don't, don't answer me? Don't nobody answer me. Answer yourself. Because it's between you and God. How many times a day do you open up your Bible and read a few scriptures? Oh, you just don't understand about my life. I got to be at work at 4 o'clock in the morning. And then I don't get home until the roosters crow. And then it's the neighbors is always blocked. No, there's no excuse. You know what that sounds like to me? You still want to be bound. Come on. I'm just being, I'm being honest. And y'all get mad and then you get over it. And you realize I'm telling you the truth. Amen. When you was on that dope, by George, you'd be at 5 o'clock in the morning not on the dope man's door. Am I lying? Because yeah. he had what you want, didn't he? Yeah. Who got what you want now? Amen. That word? You want to be free tonight? I'm telling you how. I'm telling you how to get free tonight. It takes a lot of seeking. Jesus said this. He said, you shall find the Lord when you search for him with some of your heart. Is that what it says? Some of your heart? I believe it says all. All of your heart. You know why we got so many bound Christians? I just want to be honest because God gave me that liberty. And I want to help you. Listen, I'm bound by some things in my own life. No, I don't watch porn. <laughs> I'm just saying, well, I don't know how people are. And we start to make rumors on myself. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. 
<laughs> There's things that we all need to let loose of, is my point. Yeah, come on. <laughs> well, you know how Christian folk are. Y'all going to start a room on me. You better have an answer to truth. <laughs> We halfway seek the Lord. Amen. You think back, those of you in here that did get delivered from drugs and, and got you a little bit of time. How bad did you want it? When you got to the point that you came to Jesus, when you had your first come to Jesus meeting, how desperate was you? How desperate? Now, let me ask you. What happened to that desperation? God said, I don't change. He said, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen. You found him on the altar then, didn't you? Amen. Don't you think it would take that same amount of desperation to seek after the Lord? Yes. Now listen, there's just no excuse. I don't care if you got three jobs from 4 o'clock in the morning till 4 o'clock the next morning and you don't get home. They got cell phones. You can download the audio Bible. Tune in and read it to you. Turn off your daggone country music. But the daggone, my wife doesn't let me and my dog doesn't let me too. Turn that off and turn on your audio Bible when you're driving to work. Listen to the Bible. They'll read it to you, see? They even had it on cassette tapes before they came out with all this technology. I remember. No, I don't get no sermons off no internet. But I do like to study and use the internet to do so. Come on. And I said one day, well, I don't know how am I going to preach if the internet ever comes out. <laughs> I'm joking because I bet you I could. <laughs> but I remember these little things they had. It was called a pocket Bible. Yeah. And it didn't need no Wi-Fi passcode nor oh, nothing. Yeah. And you could get it right out from your pocket and type it in on there. Whatever you want to look for. We are without excuse. We want to complain and complain and complain and do nothing about it. You know what it reminds me of? Remember that term in the Bible when them Israelites <laughs> started telling Moses, it would have been better for us had we died in Egypt. Why did you bring us out to die in the desert? Why did you bring us out to die like this? Come on, come on. And the Israelites brought a curse on ourselves with that kind of talk. I'm just saying. Amen. Is life always good? No. The Bible says it rains on the just as well as the unjust. Bad things happen to good people. Hearts get broken. Friendships are lost. Yeah. People get hurt. Yeah. They feel alone. Sometimes life's not fair. Yeah. Come on. When's the last time y'all had to carry a cross up Gilgotha? Anybody ever done that in here? Had your beard plucked out of your face? Been spit on by those whom you call friends? Beat bloody? black and blue until you are unrecognizable as a man or a woman for somebody else to see us. Y'all never had a day like Jesus did on the day that he went to Calvary. I promise. And I gotta remind myself I don't preach nothing but ain't, if this gets for y'all to care how many fingers I got. I got three of point back at me. <laughs> Sometimes that's what we got to remind ourselves of. Because you see what it is, Satan, <coughs> he wants us to fall into that trap 
as poor, poor, pitiful me. You just don't know what kind of a life I've had. You just don't know how I've been hurt. You don't know the things that I've seen. You don't know how dirty I've been done. That's right, and you don't know my story neither. Amen. We could all trade war stories in here. We all been broken. Yes, That's why we're here, right? Y'all heard that song. I know everybody in here had to hear it. Let it go. Let it go. Can't hold me back anymore. I know my voice is horrible this evening, but that's all right. Y'all know the song, right? It is that simple. Sing it all night. It is that simple. Let it go. My heart got broke real bad just less than 24 hours ago by somebody I love dearly. You know what? I just had to say, Lord, it's by the way mine. I'm going to bed. And guess what? I slept like a dead woman. He said he gives his beloved sleep. Now, pretty good today, didn't I, Amber? <laughs> I'm saying, you got to let these things go. You keep playing things over and over <coughs> and over in your minds. The shoulda, woulda, cut us. That's what y'all need delivered from. Is the shoulda, woulda, cut us. You know how many shoulda, woulda, cut us I got in my life. <laughs> I wouldn't be preaching if I dwelled on the way. We just put it that way. Now the Bible says, he who comes to me must believe that I am he. <laughs> and that I am a rewarder of those who diligently seek me. Now do you believe it or don't you believe it? There's no ify, there's no maybe, there's no might, there's no lukewarm, there's no right of defense when it comes to your walk with Jesus. Either you is or either you ain't. That's it. You want to be free? Stop fighting for your freedom. Jesus already set you free. You just got to fight for it. And that hurts. Because I know in my heart there's things that if I just stop, then I just stop. This old flesh don't want to do it. That's why we're in a war. That's why we're in a battle. But God has given us weapons of warfare, which was a wonderful lesson this morning that Lee taught us about some of these weapons. Amen. Amen. If you weren't here, get on the church page and watch it. We always try to record up until at least the altar calls just to give people some privacy. And it's on there and it's good teaching. He even had the Roman soldier outfit up here and was, it was telling a little bit about it. You gotta learn to fight in the spirit. You know on them days it's just horrible bad days and you just want to go home and go to bed and not fool with this whole pastor has those days too. <laughs> it's when you need to be the first person here in this church. I'm telling you the truth. That's when you need to be the first person here. Hitting these altars ready to pray. Ready to offer up the sacrifice Bruce. of praise. Come on. I love that. One of my favorite scriptures in this whole word right here. God has given us the garment, the garment of praise <laughs> for the spirit of heaviness. And as bad as this might hurt, we can't have three of these for us. I got my Lord. The Bible says, walk in the light. Walk in the light. Bible says don't be unequally yoked. I would give anything to drive the printer right now 
and drag my sister out of that house by the hair of her head. And right up here at this altar. <laughs> but you know what? The devil would drag her right back out. And in the process, I'm liable to get hurt myself. I don't want to be a casualty anymore. I refuse to become a statistic tonight. God gave me the power. He said to walk on scorpions. He said in the pickup service. He said nothing by any means shall harm me. Well, guess what? I've seen it. I done tasted of the goodness of the Lord, and I ain't going back. I got to protect this freedom I have found with everything that I got up inside of me. Everything. Do we love them? I think I love my sister. I love her more than anything. And that girl's been through so much together. Really, she ain't my sister. She's my first cousin. But you'll never convince me that that's not my sister. You see, her mommy and my daddy's triplets. And she let me live with her when I got out of prison. And through a lot together. But right now, her life is not on the same road as where I want to go. Now in this road called life, don't we choose where we're going to drive on? And we know where we're headed, don't we? So why would you, on purpose, get in the one way road going the wrong way? Why, why do we do that? Why do we do that? You know why? I'll tell you why it's right here because we're not thinking about these things. Whatsoever is true, what's true? God's word. Jesus said, I am the truth. Whatsoever things are honest, what's honest? The Holy Ghost. He leads you and guides you in all truth. Honest. The Holy Ghost. Not me. You might say, I'm a pretty honest person. You're a lie. <laughs> if you are, it's only because of Jesus. Amen. I'd be a skunky skunk without Jesus in my heart. And I know it. Better see what, see yourself for what you are. Whatsoever things are just, what's just? Jesus. Whatsoever things are pure, what's pure? Jesus, y'all, you catching on now. Praise the Lord. Whatsoever things are lovely, what's lovely? Whatsoever things are of good report. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise. Jesus, 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 got him on my mind. Jesus, 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 got him on my mind. Jesus, 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 got him on my mind. I've got Jesus on my mind. We do all need to be Jesus freaks. Amen. That's what it takes to make it. And don't say, well, I can't. Well, you've done a pretty good job of sinning against God. Whatever it was you wanted to do, fornicating, getting high, committing adultery, out here drinking, rambling, making a fool out of ourselves. We did a good job of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We didn't be just as eager to serve the Lord. Am I stepping on anybody's toes tonight? I don't mean to. No more than stepping on my own. What I'm trying to do is get you motivated. You want to be free? Bust up out of the prison that you allowing the devil to hold you in. Break out of there. Run. I hear people say I struggle with fornication. There's your problem right there. God didn't say struggle with it. He said flee from it. Run the other way. What we need to do, brother. Y'all want freedom tonight? Freedom is here. 
freedom is here. But it's going to take a touch from the Lord. You're going to have to really get a hold of him and let these things go that are holding you back. And guess what? You have to get up again in the morning and do it again. The Bible tells us in the book of Joshua, choose you this day who you're going to serve. People just think it's a one trip deal to the altar. I made my choice. I'm serving God. <laughs> Sometimes it's a minute by minute deal. I'm going to serve the Lord. I'm going to do what's right. Make up your mind. Take control over these thoughts that exalt themselves against God and against his purposes. You got the power in you. The same power that raised Christ up from the dead. That's the same kind of power you got. Take control over these things. Let the Lord help you to pull down these strongholds that is trying to destroy your life, trying to take away your peace, trying to steal your salvation. David said, I look to the hills from whence my help cometh. My help comes from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Come on, get you some help tonight. The altar's open. Everybody stand, if you will. Come on. Now, I've seen people shed tears in here this evening. I've even heard some people testify. <laughs> 